Hey, it's Stephen Chandler, Senior Pastor of Union Church and the author of Stop Waiting for Permission. I'm honored to bring the verse of the day, Philippians chapter 4, verse 7. And it reads, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Okay, go with me on this story. Back in college, and a few years after college, I drove what you would call a character building car. What is that? It's a car that has more warning lights on the dashboard than you have on your Christmas tree. This car built my prayer life because every morning before I turned the ignition, I prayed, oh Jesus, please let this car start. In Maryland, where I'm from, we'd have these flash storms where it would come in, and I mean just torrential rain, and it'd be gone in like 15 minutes. Every time a storm would hit, I would pull over to the side of the road and park under a bridge. Why? Because my tires were bald and I had not changed my windshield wipers since I bought the car. Well, I remember a few years later, I was able to get a different car and it had a little bit more tread on the tires and I actually had windshield wipers. And the first time a storm hit and my car wasn't slipping around and the windshield wipers actually moved the water from my dashboard, I was shocked. Wait, People can drive through storms? Who knew? Think about Philippians, how it says that God gives a peace that's so amazing, we can't even comprehend it. And it guards our heart and guards our mind in Christ Jesus. Well, here's my thought. I spend a lot of my time praying that God would remove the storms of life. Could it be, I don't need to pray so much that God would move a storm, but I need to pray, God, make me more aware of your peace that guards my heart and guards my mind in the storm. The storms of life are not able to inhibit the progress that God has for you. My prayer today is that we would become more aware of God's peace in our life.